We are here today to announce that the Justice Department has secured felony guilty pleas from the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, Binance, and from its founder and CEO, Changpeng Zhao, also known as CZ. Separate from the criminal enforcement actions the Justice Department is announcing today, Secretary Yellen and Chairman Benham will also announce civil regulatory enforcement actions and the Treasury Department and the, that the Treasury Department and the CFTC are taking against Binance. While criminal and civil enforcement actions are subject to different legal standards, this collective effort represents the whole of government approach that we are taking to combat corporate crime. Binance has agreed to plead guilty to willfully violating the Bank Secrecy Act, knowingly failing to register as a money transmitting business, and willfully violating the International Emergency Economic Powers Act. These laws ensure that our financial institutions are not available to designated terrorist organizations, drug traffickers, and sanctioned nation states that threaten public safety and our national security. The Justice Department is requiring Binance to pay $4.3 billion in penalties and forfeitures. This is one of the largest penalties we have ever obtained from a corporate defendant in a criminal matter. The Justice Department is also imposing a monitorship as well as reporting requirements on Binance as part of today's resolution. Moving forward, Binance must file the suspicious activity reports that were required by law. The company is required to review past transactions and report suspicious activity to federal authorities. This will advance our criminal investigations into malicious cyber activity and terrorism fundraising, including the use of cryptocurrency exchanges to support groups such as Hamas. While this historic plea is an important measure of accountability, we know that corporations only act through the individuals who run them. That is why we have also filed a felony charge against and secured a guilty plea from Chang Peng Zhao for willfully violating the Bank Secrecy Act. As C CEO of Binance, Zhao willfully violated federal law that requires financial institutions to guard against money laundering and terrorist financing. Zhao, who resides, resides outside of the United States, entered his plea in person in the United States District Court for the Western District of Washington earlier today. In August 2017, Zhao founded Binance as a platform, platform where users could trade in cryptocurrency. But from the very beginning, Zhao and other Binance executives engaged in a deliberate and calculated effort to profit from the U.S. market without implementing the controls that are required by U.S. law. Zhao and Binance attracted and built a substantial U.S. customer base. Almost two years after Binance's founding, Zhao told senior management that the U.S. market represented 20 to 30 percent of the company's potential revenue. Serving these U.S. customers meant that Binance was a U.S. financial institution. U.S. financial institutions must comply with U.S. law. Zhao and other senior management at Binance understood this. They understood that the company was required by U.S. law to register with the Treasury Department as a money services business. And they understood that they were required by U.S. law to implement an effective anti-money laundering program. They failed to do either. Instead, they concluded that complying with U.S. law would stifle their efforts to grow Binance's profits, market share, and trading volume. So, rather than comply, Binance facilitated billions of dollars of unregulated cryptocurrency transactions. It willfully enabled hundreds of millions of dollars in transactions between American users and users subject to U.S. sanctions and its platform accommodated criminals across the world who used Binance to move their stolen funds and other criminal proceeds. Binance prioritized its profits over the safety of the American people. In part because of the crimes it committed, Binance became the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. Now, Binance is paying one of the largest corporate penalties in U.S. history.